Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell notification button so you get notified each time I post. So today I'm going to be taking you guys through a tutorial but here's the tea. I'm gonna do the whole process with you guys. I'm not gonna cut out any parts or make any parts fast. So this is gonna be a little bit of a long video. I usually cut out the parts to make the video probably between 20 to 30 minutes in beginner friendly videos but this one is gonna be beginner friendly and I'm gonna leave all the parts in so I'm gonna give you guys a sec while the intro music is playing grab your makeup stuff grab your brushes and we can do our makeup together it's gonna be really really fun if you want to see how this video goes if you want to do your makeup with me grab your kit and let's just get right into it <laughs> Okay, so let's start. I have my mirror here, so if I end up like looking towards this end, it means I'm looking in my mirror. I also have my brushes here with me and my makeup, so yeah, let's start this. So you guys know that I love to do my brows first. So um, I got my brows microbladed. I uploaded a vlog for you guys to see the process and how everything went. And I definitely do not regret getting my brows microbladed because it's just really changed a lot of things for me. So I'm gonna go in with my light concealer. I'm using the Huda Beauty Over Chiva Concealer in the shade Toasted Almond 20G. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M421 brush. This is a very flat brush and it's very small. I'm gonna use that to sculpt the bottom part of my brows. Usually um, I would do my brows before my makeup or my brows on top of my makeup, but this routine literally takes me just the shortest period of time and also it kind of makes my brow look good I love the way my brows look when I do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put my brush in there the products at the back of my hand and um, I'm gonna start sculpting it out So the whole idea is to keep doing short strokes and you do not need to rush through the process. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, Deluxe Crease Brush just to buff out the concealer. I usually do it um, when I'm done but this concealer like dries down quite fast. So I'm also gonna buff this side in. I try to get as close to my brow as possible when I'm buffing in the concealer. And as you can see, I'm just um, lightly tapping it. I'm not swelling or swiping the brush. I'm literally just tapping the product into my skin. Okay, so now that I've gotten the brows out of the way, I mean, we're gonna get back to them, but not now. I'm gonna focus on my skin. I'm gonna use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This primer is literally one of the best primers I've used. I feel like I say this in every video, <laughs> but it's literally one of the best primers I've used. So I just massage this into my skin. Some of you might ask me why I didn't put on primer before doing my brows. This primer in particular has a grip 
to it which I love so I love to maintain the grip also it's a little bit slippery in my opinion and my brows already have a slip to them so um I know that I don't include this step in every makeup tutorial but I love to color correct I'm gonna go in with my color corrector this is the Danessa Myricks color fix this is in the shade carrot top I love this one because I can use it as a cream blush and also as a color corrector so I usually just go in with just a little bit a little bit of this product goes a very very long way if you do not own this product that is completely fine you can also get the LA Pro concealer in the shade the orange shade which is also good for color correction I love to color correct on top of my mustache area and literally under my eyes I know that it looks a little bit crazy but I'm gonna buff it in So yeah, that's about it for color correction. I always have wipes by me, um, baby wipes, or makeup wipes, and I just love to wipe my hands. Uh, for blending out my color corrector, I use the Color Box Cosmetics Brush CB15. This brush, it has two ends to it, so yeah. Whenever I use color corrector, I love to set it with a little bit of powder. I'm using the Huda Beauty powder. I really love this powder, like it's so bomb. I use the shade Blondie. I'm just using the same end of the brush where I applied the color corrector with. I'm just pushing that in there. Even though it's matte, I just love to do this to give it like an extra reassurance because my skin is a slippery slope, literally. So I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Four Filter Foundation in the shade Cinnamon 440G. This foundation is very full coverage, but I still love to do color correction because even though I use full coverage foundations, it's just better for me to do color correction especially around my mustache area this side I always get the five o'clock shadow like a little mustache shadow I use two pumps of this foundation and then I put it at the back of my hand I'm gonna spread it out with my precision concealer brush from Evita Joseph This foundation has a thicker consistency to it. Um, the NARS Soft Matte Foundation is a little bit on the liquid side, so I just prefer to pour that. And then also, it doesn't have a pump. It has a dropper, so I just drop it onto my skin. But you need to be careful because you can just go overboard with it. Also, this foundation dries down very fast. I'm blending it out with my Morphe foundation brush. This has been one of my best purchases this year. I'm just going in with a little bit more foundation. Oh. 
also I like to go in with a damp beauty blender damp meaning I made it wet completely squeezed out all the water and I squeezed it in tissue paper to take out any excess water so not wet damp and I'm just gonna go in to the rest of the foundation at the back of my hand so that it doesn't lift any products of my skin and I'm literally just gonna go all over my skin with it So I didn't go in with any extra product. I just went in with what was left at the back of my hand. The Beauty Blender has the tendency to pick up products off your skin. So you need to do this step so that it doesn't make your skin look patchy. It will just make it look really, really airbrushed. So you see the five o'clock shadow i don't know if you guys can tell it's literally right here but because i use the orange corrector it's definitely diminished so everything is nice and blended out just gonna go over my eyelids a little bit and in between my brows everything is nice and blended out i don't know if you guys can see but I know, do not mind the orange corrector that is still sitting under my eyes. I would use concealer to cover that. So yeah, this is how smooth it's going to get. <laughs> For the next step, I'm going to contour and highlight. I recently uploaded um, a tutorial, a very detailed one. I'm gonna use my black opal stick foundation. It's almost finished. I love this stuff. I'm gonna use my cream contour brush from Evita Joseph. I'm gonna dip into it like so, and I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, I should probably just put the product on my skin. I'm also gonna put a little bit on the perimeter of my forehead and my jawline. So, okay, so that's about it for the contouring. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my Morphe E4 brush and I'm gonna put that into my hairline. Wow, I forgot how much I loved this product. It's so warm. Wow. And it just blends in so easily. I love using cream products as contour because it just, I don't know, it just blends in so, so easily. And I also love this brush. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm literally just tapping it here. Also gonna go over my jawline. So for my jawline, I want it to be a little bit softer, so I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just buff it in again so that there's like a shadow there but not like a line. So doing this step, it's just like really, really salient or important to me because I realized in the past, sometimes I would go out and I realized that I have like a line here, which is not cute by the way. So for highlighting, I'm gonna go back in with my Overachiva Concealer from Huda Beauty. I'm gonna put that right in my inner corners, like right here. The applicator on this stuff is so bomb, like, So warm. I love it. It's cold and it's just really relaxing. So I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way um, in the shade Butterscotch. 
I always use this concealer. I love it. It's so bomb as well. I'm also gonna put it here and a little bit on here and then the bridge of my nose and then like right in between my brows I don't go crazy with products on my forehead because nope it's just gonna look really crazy I'm gonna go ahead and buff it into my skin with my contour brush from Real Techniques I love how this brush just makes everything look airbrushed like it's so bomb so I blend out um, the parts where I don't want like too much of a too much of coverage because if you leave the Too Faced Bond this way on your face it's going to get thicker and thicker and give you a very very bomb coverage which is just like the best I'm gonna blend out my concealer like right around it but I'm gonna let the rest sit just like slight tapping motions So I'm gonna let the rest sit under my eye while I apply my um, cream blush. Now you can skip cream blush, it's really not necessary to do it. I love it. I love to do it personally. I love how my skin looks with cream blush. Like it just, I'm crazy about blush if you didn't know and blush is one of the first things that literally fades off um, your skin. So I just love that the cream blush literally just holds the powder blush to stay a little bit longer. Again, I'm going to use my carrot top from Danessa Myricks. Oh, this is way too much. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put it right here. Right here. I'm just blending it out slightly and then I'm gonna go ahead and buff it into my skin with my brush this stuff dries very fast so you have to work fast so yeah and the orange blush just looks so good on darker skin tones like I saw Jackie Aina like talking about it. I was like, oh, this is too risky. Like I wouldn't even risk it. I always go for peachy, pink, purple, but not orange. But when I tried this out, I was like, yes, yes, this looks so good. So you see how it just mixes into my concealer and contour that is what i love that is so i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender the damn beauty blender i used earlier and i'm gonna use that to blend out my nose contour i leave that just to sit a little bit before i blend it out And then I'm gonna go back in and blend out what's under my eyes.
and then I'm also gonna use that on my eyelids just to prime them So I have conveniently covered up um, the orange corrector under my eyes and the blush is still there but it's very very minimal which I love. So what I'm going to do as you can see the concealer has climbed up a little bit so I'm going to go back in with my contour brush what I used to blend out my contour the Real Techniques brush. I'm just using this to make sure the contour is still sitting. And I'm just also blending out my forehead just to make sure that the highlights didn't go overboard and then I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended out so when you are doing your makeup you need to have like a tissue lying there where you can squeeze any excess products into your beauty blender because I feel like when you don't do that, the beauty blender just looks a little cakey, in my opinion. So I'm gonna start setting my face. I'm using the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake. So I'm gonna go into my beauty blender and I'm gonna tap into the powder like this. And I'm literally gonna part the excess powder at the back of my hand like so and I'm gonna push it under my eyes I'm just making sure that uh, everything is nice and blended out and before you actually set you want to make sure there are no creases like i'm legit making sure there are no creases and look on top of my eyelids like it's creasing so i just love to go back in with the brush the brush i used to um bake um sorry the brush that i used to blend out my highlights as you can see so the creases are gone I didn't go with any extra product just the brush so you see this is still creasing so I just like just pat it just a little bit we all crease like don't make it drive you crazy like just small tips like this would just make you be able to control all the natural things that okay I usually just cut this part out because I feel like um, it's not going to be helpful but I just figured like oh let me just leave this part in so you guys can actually see so immediately you go in and set with just a light layer of powder with your beauty blender so you see now there are no creases and you want to move as fast as possible so that um, so that everything is just nice and blended out and no creases whatsoever so you see everything is set very set so I'm gonna go ahead and push powder wherever I put the cream products and you always have to set with priority like set wherever you crease um, first before you set everywhere else otherwise like you don't have to pick my routine if you if you crease like um, 
around your mouth around your nose like set those areas do not say oh i watched um, mufida's tutorial and she said to set your face starts with under your eyes and you know that you don't crease under your eyes like why are you even setting that area like it's really not necessary and i also lightly go over my brows just to pick up any extra oils on my skin so yeah i've set everywhere that um i put cream products i don't know if you guys can see the blush still on my skin it's like there but it's not there that's why i love the orange blush it's so cool so i'm gonna go in with a very light layer of powder i know that this might be a lot for some people but trust me it's not the thing about girls with oily skin is that as you apply the product your skin is producing oil and doesn't make the product dry as fast as it would on other people's skin so using a light layer a light layer i am emphasizing on the fact that you use a light layer because you're going to go in with all over face powder which is going to be another step i take it as like an important step because i have oily skin i do what suits my skin so you don't have to go by this if you have dry skin you just pick up the steps just to upgrade your makeup um your makeup look i don't know if this is making sense i keep throwing tips here and there so i hope this helps you so this is my all over face powder um, it's the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Mahogany. I'm going to use my Zoeva Face Finish Brush. I'm going to tap in. So my camera cut off on me. Very disrespectful, right? So I was saying that I use a pressed powder. Also, you can use a loose powder with a big brush to set all over your face. That's another thing to do too. Especially if your skin is normal to... Um dry also if you don't have a pressed powder and you have a loose powder you can just use your big brush to set all over your face and move on with your bronzer and all those things so i legit just tap into the brush very lightly and then i just go all over my face i don't do so much with it i just want to um bring back some warmth into my face especially if you use a translucent powder to set all over your face like you need a pressed powder to bring back the color into your skin so do with that what you will <laughs> just you know do what works for you you don't have to do this specific routine just pick and choose what works for you so the next step is bronzer um we set our foundation we are now going to set our contour our cream contour <laughs> even though we set our face like I just love to do that as well so i'm going in with my fenty beauty um stan stalker bronzer in the shade coconutty and i'm gonna apply that with my m527 brush from morphe just going to push that right where i applied my cream contour also put in it on my jawline you do not have to go crazy with this stuff now I'm gonna um, contour my nose I'm using the AOA studio e125 brush it's slanted it literally looks like a baby brush like this brushes baby brush <laughs> I hope this makes sense so I'm gonna start off from the end of my eye or the beginning or the front part of my eyebrows and i'm gonna bring it downwards
that's it for contouring my nose now I'm gonna bake um, I know that sometimes in my videos I love to um, apply my blush before I bake but I love applying my blush after I bake because it just brings everything together so um, yeah my powder blush by the way <laughs> I'm going back in with the same Huda Beauty powder and my um, beauty blender I'm literally just going to start off right here from the sides of my nose and I'm just I'm not pushing the powder I'm just pressing it over there That's about it for baking under the eyes. Please don't bake if you have dry skin. I'm also going to do the reverse contouring, which is just putting a little bit of powder under where you contoured just to give it a little bit of a lifting effect. I'm also going to apply a little bit of powder right here and then I'm gonna use oh I need a small brush okay this one I'm gonna put a little bit of powder like onto the middle part of my nose like just right here so I'm done with my powders for the meantime I'm gonna do my eyebrows this is what I mean when I say this makes my doing my brows easier so my brows look sculpted already so what I just do is literally fill them in So I'm literally just going to... I'm sorry I'm not talking you guys through this, but I hope this is explanatory enough. are watching this you just realize that I don't take so long to do my brows anymore I used to take a lot of time and your brows don't have to be equal I mean <laughs> they are sisters they are not twins <laughs> but I try to get them as equal as possible so that's about it for brows I'm done with my brows
that's it I'm not going to sculpt the top part of my brows because I already sculpted the bottom at the beginning and I already have I have the highlights um, under my brows which is amazing I love that for me so for eye makeup I'm gonna use my revolution makeup palette this is the velvet reloaded velvet rose this palette was like so affordable and it's so pigmented like it's literally the best investment ever so I'm just going over my eyelids um, just to iron out any creases with my um, deluxe crease brush from real techniques so for brushes today for eye makeup I'm gonna be using my Evita Joseph Deluxe Blender and my CVL Beauty Tapered Blending Brush. So I'm gonna go in with this shade, this shade right here. It's it's a black matte, a black matte shade. I'm gonna dip in there and I'm gonna pat that all over my lid. This look is literally very wearable and it's just fits into the fall season even though it's not fall here <laughs> it's fall for some of my um, subscribers so this is dedicated to them I know using black is very scary but do not worry it's gonna come together soon so I'm just pushing this in here Just going to blend this out like so. I know that it looks crazy. <laughs> it looks very crazy. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This one. It's like a taupey brown shade. And I'm gonna dip into that and I'm gonna put it right on top of the black not in your crease guys please don't take this up to your crease just literally blend it on top of the brown shade i mean the black shade i know it looks crazy but <laughs> um it's gonna pull together soon I'm gonna go into my other brush. This is my Vita Joseph Deluxe Crease Blending Brush. I'm going into my um, bronzer. Bronzer or bronzers are like the perfect transition shades. So if you do not own any eyeshadow or any, uh, you own an eyeshadow that doesn't have any good transition shades in them, you can use your bronzer. I don't know if you can see look at the difference look at how it just softened this whole look up I love that for me so yeah it just softened the whole look it just looks really really bomb this is not how I would I would do a smoky eye but this is more of a subtle smoky eye look let me know if you want to see like a very dark smoky eye look I would film that for you guys especially for the holiday season there are gonna be a lot of parties and night out so like if you do a smoky eye it's just gonna pull everything together so I don't know if you guys can tell but this is done like it looks so good like I love this so I'm gonna do the same to the other eye literally just gonna go in here and blend everything out
gonna go back in with my brush my brush that I apply the black with with no extra product I'm just gonna go all over my eyelid just to make sure everything is nice and blended out so yeah that's literally the look nothing more to do I love it I love this look so much so for my lower lash line um, I'm gonna use a dark brown nope this is a black eyeliner this is the Shiba black waterproof eyeliner from so aesthetics this is legit one of my favorite eyeliners and it's so affordable so um, I'm gonna go ahead and use that to smoke out my lower lash line but I'm gonna tight line with it so I know it looks a little crazy right now but I'll blend it out I'm gonna do same to this eye so what you want to do is put it in between your eyelids and then move back and forth like this okay this just broke I'm gonna go in with a small brush this brush is from Morphe this is the Morphe E36 brush I'm going to go back in with this shade right here. This is the taupe brown shade. Because I already used the black, if I go in with black again on my lower lash line, I'm going to look like an all. So I'm going to use this brown to blend out the black. I don't know if you guys can see it's blended out oh I got eyeshadow in my eyes So that's about it for the eyes. I just want to go back in with my black and I'm just gonna go onto as close to my lash line as possible just to sort of line it for I for my eyelashes. I don't want to line my eyes. Do I? I don't know if I want to line my eyes but yeah just gonna blend this out so another thing I like to do is when I'm done with eyeshadow and I realize that I probably have gone a little bit overboard with the eyeshadow I just go back in with my beauty blender and I literally just do this Just to clean up <laughs> just to clean up the eyeshadow that's what I like to do so for eyelashes uh, where are my eyelashes okay so this eyelashes do they even have names I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a long eyelash um I like to pick up these are from J J lashes online I like to pick up my eyelash I already measured this and I already cut it but hopefully in another video I will show you guys how I do that I'm just going to apply my lash glue on the lash band I use the super stronghold lash adhesive wait let me see if I can find the name of that lash glue I use this and the duo lash glue so I just alternate this is a lash glue that dries clear even though it looks white it, it dries down clear what's this called this is the INV INV lash glue so I like to grab my eyelashes with a tweezer like this and then I literally just apply the lash glue I hope this is in focus So 
so what you want to do is wait for your eyelash glue to get tacky and then I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my eyelashes it's not always like flawlessly applied sometimes I get lucky but sometimes I struggle a lot and it's very normal to struggle with applying your eyelashes now I want to line my eyelids um, just a little bit because of my eyelashes you don't have to do this but I'm using my so aesthetics um, silky matte liquid liner and I'm just going to look down into my mirror and because I use black eyeshadow on a normal day I wouldn't have like lined my eyelids but I just want to but you can't even see it <laughs> it's not visible so yeah you can skip this step So you legit cannot see that I've lined my eyes, my eyelids, but I have. So while we wait for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to go on and start to dust off the... If there's any fallout, I just do this. Lightly flicking it off the skin. So after I've dusted off any fallout, I just go ahead and I blend this into my skin. Now this brush is from Real Techniques. It's the Real Techniques setting brush. Let me see if it has a number on it. Real Techniques setting brush. It's the 402-402-402 or 402 brush. So it's very soft and it just helps everything to blend into the skin. I'm also going to dust this off. Remember to dust off any fallout before blending. Otherwise, you're going to blend the fallout into your skin and it's not going to look great. I'm also going to dust this in here. So I know that it looks a little crazy, but I'm gonna do this step. This is my Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation, powder foundation, it's very light. I just love to go in with my setting brush from Real Techniques and I just love to push it wherever I put my lighter concealer. It just opens up the under eye area just in case it went a little bit dull and then I'm gonna push it here as well so that is literally all I do okay so my nose contour looks a little crazy so I'm just going to likely just dust this like so and then that's about it and I'm gonna go in with my powder brush. What I use to apply my face powder. I'm just going to. So guys, I'm legit really sad because I filmed putting my lashes on and my camera decided not to film. If you guys love this type of videos, I would film another one and I would make sure that I'm filming applying my eyelashes this was like a struggle to put on and I really wanted you guys to see how putting on lashes sometimes gets and my camera did not film so I'm terribly sorry about that so let's move on um, I'm gonna set my entire face with my Morphe continuous setting spray I'm gonna I'm gonna use my Tarte Cosmetics um, Man Eater. I'm 
now for highlighter I'm gonna use these small brushes this one is from CVO Beauty it is the smudge smoky brush and I'm gonna put that right here I'm using my MAC mineralized skin finish in the shade gold deposits I don't like to put um, highlighter all the way down the bridge of my nose I love to put it like right here and I just blend it out with my hand and then I just put it at the tip of my nose like right here so I don't put it all the way down the bridge of my nose I just feel like it looks weird on me and I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on my cheekbones like above my cheekbones I'm using my Morphe M4 5 brush I'm just putting that right here and I'm gonna put some on my brow bone as well and I'm just gonna blend it out now I'm gonna do the same to this side I don't like putting <laughs> um, highlighter anywhere else realistically so I'm gonna put it in my inner corners as well For my lipstick, I'm going to do my favorite lip combo. I'm going to start off with my NYX Cosmetics um, Lip Liner in the shade Espresso. I like to slightly overline my lip. Uh, That's about it. And I'm gonna move on with my Stana Lip Paint in the shade Unveiled. And then I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Stana Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton. I'm gonna put that at the center, Excel, and I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I love the butter gloss because it just makes my lips stay longer other lip glosses just break everything apart which I don't like so I'm gonna apply brow gel this is the Beth Main brow gel it's very light so I just like to put it at the front part of my brows just like so and then I go in with my spoolie and I just spread everything out so that the head of my brow looks softer and just 
looks a little more natural this brow gel has a, 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 a hold but it's not as strong as the got to be gel but I just love this brow gel it's just like really really bomb it's a Ghanaian brand so yeah I'm gonna use my black eyeliner I like to put dots on my face especially where I have like like pimples or little bumps I know it looks crazy but yeah I love that <laughs> so guys we've come to the end of this video I hope that it was helpful I really really hope I was able to cover some of the salience points for you guys um, I just figured like doing a tutorial like showing you guys every single step and not forwarding or cutting things out um, would be helpful because I for one would enjoy watching a video like that so yeah let me know down below if you really like this video or videos like this and I'm sorry if it was a little bit too long it was very chaotic as you guys could tell I tried to be calm as possible thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you guys in my next one do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't also turn on the bell notification button if you haven't so that you do not miss an upload from me I'll see you guys in my next one take care guys bye